<laughs> Hi you. Before enjoying this video, please lay a little love on that subscribe button. I'll be extremely grateful to you. Enjoy. Hey you. <laughs> no, I'm stupid. I'm just... I'm just healing. My body's not responding well to the vaccination, so... It's nothing to be scared of. It's just... It's just a little bit of pain, but it'll pass. Oh, who am I trying to get? I feel terrible. Mm. What's that? like the holidays. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. That sounds like pills. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. You brought me soup. <sighs> mm, smells really good. Thank you. trying to be I'm trying to be nice and not that I'd be mean I just feel like oh I'm sorry sweetheart I just don't feel super present this is all really sweet you brought everything I need oh, it's just it's, this is bizarre because like on one hand, the fact that I know that I'm not really sick is is amazing because it. I feel like anytime anybody gets sick, even if it's a little, if it's you know even like a common cold, there's a little bit of a fear factor because for one. It might get worse, it could be bad, it could get bad, but also the question of like how long is this gonna take, you know, to heal from or like pass. So on one hand it's like really liberating to have the fear factor gone from feeling sick. Because I know this is gonna pass and you know, maybe you know, soon. Um, it certainly isn't going to go beyond 24 hours, but on the other hand, it still hurts, you know, it's really eerie, it's like, sort of like, it's just, how do I describe it, it's sort of like living somebody else's sick life for a day and knowing you're going to go back to your healthy body soon, but you feel everything that person's feeling. That was a stupid way to describe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have another sip. Thank you. No, it does taste good. It tastes really good. Oh, here I was hoping... I was hoping I'd be one of the lucky ones. Yeah, actually, you you can't crawl in this time. Come come in. Oh, if you think it would be fun <laughs> for you, yeah, you can crawl in. Mm, because this time, mm, this is unique. Because this time and only this time, I don't have to worry about getting you sick. So. 
is I'll take this opportunity. Oh, that feels really good. You rub my back. Can I ask you a needy favor? Can you massage, like, my shoulder and my neck? Oh. Wonderful. Just because my muscles are just super, super sore. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, you're the best. Mm-hmm. There's this other symptom, too. Where you essentially just kind of like get super duper ADD. <laughs> and I know this to be true because I felt this all coming on when I was supposed to send a series of documents to work and it wasn't complicated. And I had to send three emails because I kept forgetting like a single attachment on each and I finally I emailed the team and was like I'm so sorry you guys I'm so sorry this is so embarrassing I've sent you like a million emails of the same stupid documents I don't mean to flood your inbox and it all needs to be together so I had to keep sending the same documents with like one additional document three times. It was just so stupid. I didn't even, I didn't even bother to get and try to like, like create any excuses. I was just like, I just got <laughs> a vaccination and <laughs> I'm losing my mind. So this is embarrassing. Thank you. Me. <laughs> You said, you know, it didn't quite sneak up as a surprise because I don't know if you know this about me, but a weird thing that happens to me, a weird thing that happens to me when I get sick is I'll start to crave, well, I'll crave sugar, which is rare. I'm a savory person. I like salty and fatty, and I only really crave, like, cookies and sweets and cakes and, you know, pastries when I'm sick. And I really do, I crave them, but... (sighs) I also just really want to watch cartoons when I'm sick. And I mean, like, mindless, plotless cartoons. Like, anything that's just really silly or girly or, you know, something that's built for children to (laughs) to just sort of lose themselves in. I wonder if it's because my brain just, like, it needs to escape the pain, but it can't think. You know, it doesn't have much brain power, but it does want to get out of the skin. <laughs> so, it's like I just need a teleportation to um, escapist fantasy land without thinking about anything deep or plot driven. It just needs to be pretty and fun. And, oh, it just needs to feel good. It just needs to rattle the endorphins loose from my brain <laughs> take me away from here yeah chocolate chip cookies in particular are like my go to sick move and that in, that in children's cartoons Some anime is okay. I mean, there's so much, like, 
a riveting, thought-provoking anime. Like, that ain't it on a sick day. <laughs> I need that. I just need really basic cartoons. <sighs> Ooh, actually, I could watch Sailor Moon, though, probably. Because I know it happens. And it's not too much. It's not too much intensity. And it's nostalgic. I like Sailor Moon. I would like to know your favorite Sailor Scouts. Mm -mm. You have good taste. Oh, I'm getting tired now too. It's probably a good sign. I think probably the sooner I pass out, the sooner. The sooner my body will get over it. It's typical with real sick too. Is the more you can sleep, the faster you'll knock it out. But obviously, a nine to five makes that really hard for people to take care of in a swift and healthy way. So many of us wind up walking around way sicker for way longer than we would have needed to had we the privilege of taking a day or two off of work, you know, and just sleeping all day. It's too bad I think about stuff like that. Money, I don't want to... <laughs> this is taking a dark turn. And that's not what my body needs right now. My body right now needs Sailor Moon. The soup. <laughs> oh, you. Maybe, no, 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 don't, don't order me any desserts. Just because I crave it doesn't mean I need it. In fact, I, this is so typical, I actually looked it up. I've looked up why does my body crave like desserts and cookies and sweets when I'm sick. And basically the article said, don't do it. <laughs> I found a number of articles that said just because your body craves anything doesn't mean you should reach for that thing. It generally means there's something else adjacent to that thing. That would be better, but, you know, human bodies are extremely fallible. We are not the best evolved species on Earth. Highly flawed in evolution. I mean, look at autoimmune diseases. The body attacks itself. This is not a well, this is not a well evolved species. Biology is so interesting and so dumb. No, I'm, I'm rubbing my left temple because I'm beginning to feel a headache coming on just like right in that spot. Mm. Yeah, you can, you can massage it. You are an angel, you know that. This is so sweet of you. You know, and I really appreciate, too, you making this moment kind of cool <laughs> because, oh, despite the fact that I feel like I got hit by a truck, <laughs> it's... It is, it is cool that this will probably be the only time in my life that I couldn't, that I would be okay with cuddling you in bed while I'm feeling sick, you know, because you're not going to catch anything. I'm not contagious. I'm not sick. My body just thinks it's sick. 
just doing the best I can. But, you know, you've made this moment. This memory would have probably been, like, kind of annoying, you know, the inconvenience to the vaccine, but... <sighs> you being here with me is making it actually a, a really memorable, unique positive moment and I appreciate that <laughs> yeah no no I'm not sad it's just sometimes when you're sick you're just like a little bit faster to tear up you're just more sensitive <laughs> no baby I'm fine I'm better now well, I'm not fine I feel terrible but I'm better I'm getting better every moment I'm with you Mm. Yeah, it feels good. Mm. <laughs> your little massages, your little rubs, they always feel good. Mm. You treat me so good, baby. Thank you. <laughs> mm, that feels good. Yeah, you can watch Sailor Moon with me. I used to really like... I liked the first batch of bad guys. I liked Queen. I think her name was Queen o Oval. And the English dub. And I thought Malachite was a cool name. He was a cool bad guy, too. Although, you know... I do wish that, I mean, I liked, what was interesting was that, you know, how in the American dub, they, like, revoiced and rewrote all of the LGBTQ plus storylines to be heteronormative, but what was interesting as a byproduct of that is while I don't stand by that decision, Jedi who, from what I understand, in the Japanese manga and anime, who was a man, actually made for one of the first three-dimensional female characters I'd ever enjoyed on television. How sad is that? <laughs> but it was neat, though, you know? It was a like a new standard, but it was bizarre that that standard didn't really exist yet, but we could see that it could exist. And the same happened too. I used to love, I used to love the game Mega Man X. And as a, a kid, I thought Zero was a girl for a really long time just because Zero had long hair, and I just assumed long hair meant girl, because, you know, all the cartoons I was watching at the time and everything, and TV, that was just always the norm, and Zero made for, like, a really cool, and it's funny, because, sorry, my headache just popped back in, it's interesting, too, is my best friend at the time was a guy, and we both thought Zero was a girl, and when we discovered Zero was a boy, Zero to both of us became less interesting because it was more interesting to see that character in a female gender somehow than it was maybe just because, like, he was more predictable in his personality as, like, a male hero trope and less predictable as a female heroine because that trope seemed fresh. I don't know. That one's a little harder to define, actually, which is what makes it all the more interesting. But Anyhow, I'm trailing off, because like I said, you got a little ADD. <laughs> on these vaccines, but you know what? You know what, though? I like these stories. I think it's cool. I think it shows progress. I think these stories are reminiscent of how far we've come. You know, we've all got a lot further to go, of course, but, you know, 
Every so often, every so often, you find just like this spontaneous golden nugget of hope in this coal mine, and that is life otherwise, and it's worth appreciating all of those nugget moments, I think. It's worth appreciating the little things. Yeah, I'm getting emotional again. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, that one made me emotional. And I don't know. I don't know whether it's. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm feeling emotional because it was happy or sad. I don't know. <laughs> mm, yeah, I'll take massages. You know, in a weird way, too, though. It feels a little bit liberating to be emotionally sensitive right now. Because, well, it also feels a little silly. <laughs> because I feel like, <laughs> like tears don't meet, like appropriate level of response <laughs> to like, any of this you know even the pain like I'm in pain but it's, it shouldn't be tear provoking pain and you know what we've discussed is you know interesting but it shouldn't be you know but should it sh shouldn't be tear provoking but should is a very dangerous word because should implies judgment one way or the other and it's not to say judgment should always be ceased I think sometimes judgment you know has a right has a right to be there but rarely does it have a right to be there and I always try to watch out for the word should so you know I wonder maybe Maybe being extra sensitive right now is actually more normal than being desensitized when I'm not feeling ill. Yeah, think about it. <laughs> Brain explosion. I'm so deep. I'm so smart. <laughs> Oh, you're so lucky. I'm so smart. Oh, no. I'm feeling nauseous, though. No, you're fine. You don't have to go anywhere. It's just mild nausea. I think it'll... I think it'll pass. I always liked Sailor Mercury. Because Sailor Mercury is really smart. I always envied... The really smart characters. It's like the Ninja Turtles. I always envied Donatello. But the characters I always related to the most were Raphael, <laughs> Jupiter, you know, rough around the edges. Trouble. <laughs> Misunderstood. <laughs> Anyhow. I always wanted to be like Mercury, though. She was always so level-headed, wasn't she? Super rational, super good in everything. <laughs> she can fight, she could strategize, she could think. She could swim. There was a whole swimming episode. Yeah, she was athletic too. She could do it all. But that wasn't so important to me. I just really wanted her brain. <laughs> You know, as an adult, I've come to learn that I could have her brain. 
everything is a matter of skill building, even brain power, just like athletics, just like learning how to socialize. And so it's interesting now that I'm older, I still, I still really like Mercury for all the same reasons, but I think I don't know. I think my favorite is changing. I'll have to, I'll have to review. <laughs> I think it actually might be, ironically, it might be Sailor Moon now. Because I think now I envy, I envy, I guess, the fact that she could afford to be so messy. Like, I find her, um, I find her messiness and her silliness liberating. It's kind of like, like a personality vacation, you know? Isn't it funny that we're always trying to find balance, aren't we? Back when I was more like Sailor Moon, I... My favorite was Mercury, and now that I'm more like Mercury, I think my favorite might be Sailor Moon. So I feel like I'm missing one. There's Mercury, Moon, Mars, Jupiter, and Venus. No, that's good. And I always loved Pluto. I always envied her quiet confidence. I always envy that in anybody. And she's always been a favorite, but, you know, we don't learn as much about her. We don't get as close to her, so we don't really know her super well, but that we know. I always appreciated that. She was very strong and very compassionate. You know, I think oftentimes these qualities are written to be mutually exclusive, and so I appreciated the fact that in her, you know, oh contraire, <laughs> you know, I, I think she's more reminiscent of reality, even that the really strong people are the compassionate people, because they don't feel a need to break other people down to build themselves up. They're, they've already built themselves up, or they understand that they can do so without the expense of others, you know? They're just stronger people. Strongest people in the world are the kindest, without a doubt. So I liked seeing that reality portrayed in a cartoon. Hmm, who else did we like? <laughs> we liked all of them, though. They all kind of served their purpose, which was cool. It was a really rare ensemble piece, you know, like, I can't imagine anyone I wouldn't want to be a part of it, and I feel like it wouldn't function without, I would function less well without each, like, I can't imagine the show with, oh, I'm getting overexcited, <laughs> oh, I'm talking too fast, I'm having too much fun with you in bed, <laughs> Hmm. This is a rare treat though it is To be in terrible pain with you And to be uh, To let you Massage the soreness out And Stroke my back Baby you're the best hmm. I'm so grateful for you Yeah, we spent so much time talking about Sailor Moon, we could have gotten a whole episode. <laughs> it might be more fun, though, if we... Whoa. <clears throat> what if we... Together... Come up with an episode of Sailor Moon. Yeah. So, <laughs> we can... We can verbally write it. So, 
I can be like, once upon a time there was a moon princess, and then you can be like, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. No, it's a good idea. I'm just getting, I'm just resting my eyes. No, it's a good idea. I'm just resting my eyes. But I want to get, I want to get to it though. I want to play this game. Mm-hmm. You can start it off if you want. I think... I think... I think Malachi can be in this episode. Yeah, yeah, cool hair. Do you like my hair? Mm, feels good when you stroke it. Mm, it feels really. It was really nice of you to bring things. I think maybe maybe Malika. Is it okay if I just pass out on you? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for all the stuff. Thank you. Mm -hmm. about Sailor Moon. Then can you put me in it? <laughs> Maybe I break up. 